list, 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 list. Rappers, I'm, I'm, a, I'm totally against. You with? You with? No, I f- Terry Blue. What? And had paint for saying it. That, oh, you not with him? Nah, because at the end of the day, uh, uh, they never ever put <laughs> nobody on to express how they feel about Dallas music. <laughs> Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. At the end of the day, man, like like when you when you look at uh like like all the different things that have been going on with the music, do you think Dallas how, how do you feel about Dallas music, man? Let's be real. Uh Half Pint said all the Dallas music suck, rappers suck. Nah, nah, let me That's what he said today. Yeah, I heard it, him today. It, 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 listen, 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 listen. Rappers, I'm I'm a, I'm totally against You with you with No, I fuck Terry Blue. What? Half Pint for saying it. Oh, you not with them? Nah, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, uh, uh, they never ever put nobody on to express how they feel about Dallas music. Okay. And, and, and listen, it's because at the end of the day, they don't know what to do or how to do it to do it. Half Pint Channel was, was made out beef. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then Terry from New Orleans came around and he was just messy Terry. So at the end of the day, you don't know talent. I don't even like this nigga right now. Kevin got bands. He should, he's up there. They should be pushing him. He was on the yeah, live. Yeah, 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 yeah. They should be pushing. I was on the Twitter. They should, well, yeah, they should be pushing Big X. Every, every blouse, they should be pushing Big X heavily because we need to get him very to the top because if he gets extremely to the top, then the labels get the call at me saying, who else next out of there? Now, I can I can tax <laughs> two million, three million dollars and everybody eat and everybody have a word. Uh, 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 everybody be wealthy. But at the end of the day, if not... Dallas at a standstill. If I try to get somebody signed right now, shit, Dallas ain't been making no noise. Shit, what they want, 200000 300000 What? Do you blame Half Pint, though? Because Half Pint used to do the videos, a lot of them. Like, he used to be working, man. No, 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 no. He got water. Do the videos just don't work no more? His channel, it got watered down. And that's all people was using at one time. We need to go straight half pint, half pint, half pint, half pint, half pint. So now Half Pint don't really know what to do. Half Pint never knew real talent. You know what I'm saying? But he's doing behind the bar. Everybody to the first episode of Behind the Bar. I'm your bartender, Half Pint Films. And I- yeah, behind the bar and shit. Behind the bar and behind the bar is for people to pay to get behind the bar. You want to you want to pay to get on this behind the bar? Come on. Then you doing these dumb ass music reviews and all the music reviews doing get you rich. Ain't nobody win and nobody get their music heard at the at, at all. So at the end of the day, Dallas don't know what source to, uh source of outlet to go to. So they 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 go for Terry Blue and Terry Blue saying they music suck. Then they go over to Half Pint to get on behind the bar and they stuck behind the bar because they done paid all this damn money. And they can and they bought and do shit. But they, they just got drunk at the bar. So now you got it. Now you go to the half pipe videos, and he like he just throwing it on there. He throwing about ten videos on there at a time, and he basically he just getting paid. So basically he just worried about his wealth and his money, and Terry worried about their wealth and their money, and they don't know what other outlet to go. Cause now this dude over here telling people on a big ass platform that millions of people go here see that Dallas music suck. What the fuck is you talking about? So he ain't never had nobody sign no deal. He ain't never seen a nigga sign a deal and go home happy to change their lives and their mama lives. Yeah. So you don't understand the feeling. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm going to tell my artist shit so, or my artist them, I, I say shit to make somebody motivate them. But you don't, but they keep saying this over and over again. That shit suck, that shit suck. Man, come on, listen, 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 y'all. I'm with the rappers. I stand with the people, with my arm stretched out from this, from 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 the ground zero to the labels, and all, all I'm trying to do is, is keep on coming right here, coming right here, and connect to them as one. So at the end of the day, I know y'all feel like y'all ain't got no ad libs and y'all don't have to pick no side of anything in the streets that anything y'all ever seen that, that, that that's been done. I'm here for the city of Dallas. I'm here as one one Dallas. So if this nigga on this side need help, come on through. Wow. Because I'm going to help you get deals, but at the end of the day, man, y'all stop putting y'all trust in these bloggers that y'all only feeding and paying their rent. These niggas stand in one bedroom apartments and bullshit ass Lexus that's scraping the ground and, and barely can crank up. So I'm just going to be real. So y'all don't let these type of niggas to discourage y'all before, for, for, for becoming great as, as, as great or the dreams you have. You niggas do need to work, but don't let nobody who ain't never helped a nigga sign a deal. Get in y'all mind that y'all never can make it and y'all shit suck. Wow. So you you seen Half Pint go up to 
a no jumper. How did you like that interview? Did you see it? Yes, and I seen little clips of it. Adam called me. I probably been going and, and whenever I. What did you think about Half Pints interview? He went up. I told him he got he had a why? hat on. A he had his why? Why you calling the man that? Man, he had he the hat on, had, had the glasses. glasses with the matching outfit all the way down to his ankles. Come on, But that man. was his style at one time. That wasn't his damn style. He a long the, time ago, he used to always wear yeah, them white that, glasses but and yeah, all But that. I know Kango had with the matching, he like he had a big T hookup on. With his bullshit ass grill. He did. Just be yourself, man. Be yourself. You went up there and said, okay, I need to dress like this, dress like this. Then you shit it on the whole city. You shitted on the whole city. He asked about Big S, this old fat ass nigga. This day, he was talking so bad about Big S. He never cracked and said, "Nah, hell no, nah, you ain't finna talk about the hardest nigga that, that's in Dallas right now." He talks about Big X on here. Yeah, I know why you keep talking yeah, about Big X because Big X never came behind the bar. Okay, okay, Big X never came behind the bar. And he, he was upset about fuck it. Fuck that boy, Big X. He hit the bar, baby. Fuck him. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Man, we need to praise this man. And he feel like him and him is friends because they talk. Yeah, they talk all but the time. He ain't, but he ain't Yo, come support uh, uh, him. Uh, man, he, man he's, we love Big X to plug listen, in, in Texas, bro. Listen, listen, listen. He's on the road. And ro he love Big X to yeah, plug. Yeah, but he's on the road. He, he never, had never been on the road with no artist that was big. You understand? Big X is on the road. Every time I call them, they on the road. Yes. I call yeah. uh, Rose Summer, yeah. I was like, the X in the road. They, yeah. they, they, they trying to get to it, man. Yeah, he, he on the road. Shout so, out to them boys. You know, at the end of the day, uh, man, we, we can't. If you ain't never been on the road, you don't know what the road life feel like. Half Pint is a lot of reasons though. These niggas, he he supported Big X early on, man. Yeah, I understand. He supported a lot of people early on. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, you understand that? And ain't no wrong with it. But man, come on, man, you just taking these people money at this time. You giving them false hope, and then when they got hope, you tell them now nah, this shit suck. Well, he went to Houston and he did a uh, yeah, his yeah thing. I know. So what? what and, you, and he put to go to East Texas. What you did when you used Dallas? You used Dallas and invited everybody up there to blow your platform up. So now you can hit the road. So basically, you did it just to you. You chasing the bag, not the dream. You understand what I'm saying? Don't you think it helped the artists though to get exposure when they go on this show? He got millions of subscribers. Uh, it do, but it don't. Explain it don't. Because sometimes you can water down your platform by just chasing a bag. If you got forty niggas a day paying you to get on this, right? But you got this one kid over here, right? That sleep in the car, right? They don't got the money to get on your channel. But he got the real talent. So you put him on your channel, right? And people are getting tired of seeing they uh, 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 post a video, post a video. You know the subscription, the media subscription, post a video, post a video. They get tired of seeing that because they used to bullshit it, then they just leave your channel alone. We got to have somebody with a channel to come with straight, raw shit. Just like the rap back and I would say, everybody can't get in. <laughs> everybody can't. Yeah. I ain't say everybody can't come up here. I ain't say it. Everybody can't come up here. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.